What's up guys, my name is Carlos Berto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who haven't been to my channel in a long time, welcome back. I haven't uploaded in quite a while. I've been trying to really see the type of content I want to upload and really make it purposeful. So I've been doing a lot of research, R&D, and trying to get some really cool things to talk about and subjects and not just re-watching the same content over and over because it could be a struggle sometimes. But also I've been focusing on other endeavors and business endeavors and being a dad and all that stuff. So today, I finally came up with a really good idea, which is why I'm so excited to be back and uploading this video for you guys. So stay tuned. And also, if you missed me, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't miss me, give me a thumbs up. So today what we're gonna be talking about is hair. And obviously hair has been a big part of my channel. So I figured why not start it off with a nice hair video. So I did my due diligence. I went ahead and looked at all the videos on YouTube, every single hair video on YouTube. And I said, what are they missing? And that's what I'm gonna try to fill the gap with. So today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the main issue with your hair. Let's talk about it. Boom. So I know that being on top of the latest men's hair trends is always fun for guys because honestly, our hair is probably the main thing we care about and clothes really come second and some people don't even care about clothes, they just care about their hair. And as I was doing research on the latest men's hair videos all over YouTube, spent hours, I did stumble across some really good videos, but mainly they were models. They were models with short hair and mainly the face structure to pull off any hairstyle. And I also found a lot of videos on what haircuts girls absolutely love on guys. And even the guys that they use in the examples were models as well, fashion models. I don't know what kind of models, but they were very handsome men. So what I'm trying to say here, guys, is that all that shit is all clickbait and it isn't really helping out any men with their hair issues or even get into that point where you feel like you get the hairstyle. In fact, you might feel bad about yourself and you compare, you're gonna compare your hair to people who get paid to take care of their hair and not only that, get it done for them. So it's a lose-lose situation, buddy. Even though it's really fun to look at hair inspiration, the main issue with your hair is nine out of 10 times, you're looking for the next haircut rather than how to keep your hair healthy. Having healthy hair can make a world of a difference, guys, on how it feels, how it looks, how it falls. Haircuts will even look crispier and the growing out process will be such a breeze when your hair is much more healthier. So what does it mean to have healthy hair and how can you do it? My friend, I will show you a variety of men with good hair with different hairstyles and different hair types so that you could get a better understanding if this fits your hair type, the regimen or tips that will be discussed. This guy right here, classic shortcut. This gentleman has a classic short sides hairstyle with a short curly top. His hair looks amazing. It's not frizzy and if you do suffer from frizzy hair, it's always good to keep your length very short and that's the way to go. To maintain healthy curly hair, it's always important to keep your hair moisturized. And there are many ways you can actually do that. From looking for the right shampoo and conditioner, uh, the perfect styling product, and depending on how much time you're actually willing to invest, a hair mask would be good as well. <laughs> Every week, once a week guys. I will link product down below if you guys want me to make a video talking about these products, comment down below so I will know. If not, then I'll just go do something else. So now let's go ahead and move into straighter hair. This gentleman right here has short hair and rocking a timeless pomp. It's very easy to style and maintain. The sides don't call for any t kind of fading as it's blended, which means that your hair looks good even when it's growing out. When it comes to this hairstyle and hair type, you're going to need to pay close attention to your scalp and make sure it doesn't dry out due to the hair products that you're using. Because honestly, some of the pomades have very bad sulfates. They could have a lot of alcohol in them and alcohol levels in them, which can cause your hair to feel heavy, your scalp to dry out, flaky, your hair look gunky. That's not what we want. Next, what we have here is this guy rocking a mid to low taper slicked kind of a side part. I do like this refined hairstyle and I would always recommend shorter size if your hair sticks out when it's longer or grows out too thick on the sides and you can't really lay it down. Maintaining this hair type slash cut healthy just involves making sure you're using the right styling cream that doesn't have any harmful chemicals and make sure that it's water-based. 
Honestly guys, using something like Chapter will ensure that there's no tugging and that there's enough hold to last you throughout the entire day, but also that there's some flexibility to be able to be restyled at any time. Link down below. Since there isn't too much hair with this hairstyle, focus on the shampoo and conditioners that work as scalp treatments. Trust me, it's really important to pay attention to your shampoos and conditioners. Can't stress that enough. For this really nice, neat, short, curly, connected haircut, Honestly guys, sometimes I really wish my hair type was actually a lot more curlier because this short curly hairstyle is absolute goals. And you know what's funny guys, that after watching some of those videos that tell you what the best haircut that will make women melt, I found it really funny because the reality is that women usually compliment healthy hair, even if it's not styled nicely particularly, they know what healthy hair looks like and how it feels like. And I just found it super ironic because we all know the girl that goes crazy for the guy with curly hair or really nice, soft, smooth hair. So for this hair type being very curly, it's very important to use a hair defining cream. Something that has all the key ingredients to keep your hair hydrated like Moroccan oil, marula oil, and something that is going to be fully absorbed. Also a leave-in treatment once a week can work really well and I also recommend that as and I also recommend that a Paul Mitchell shampoo and conditioner will take you a long way. And also please stay away from any of the two in ones. Ever wonder why your hair falls out so much in the shower? Two in ones, baby. Two hair for one. That means for every one hair follicle, two of them will fall out. So stay away from the two in ones, guys, please. Now let's talk about a more lengthier hairstyle. This is a medium, wavy, messy hairstyle. As you know, with the longer hair comes more responsibility. If you have a longer mane, it's key to make sure you're paying attention to your scalp all the way down to the tip of your curls. For someone with longer hair like this guy right here, it's key to have a day or two of just conditioning. That means using an olive oil based product to a leave-in conditioner. Please leave your pre-styler for another day and pay close attention to how your hair is reacting to these products. In other words, make sure that you're not putting product every single day because sometimes your hair could dry out because of the product and you're just gonna wanna make sure that maybe on your days off, you're not styling your hair or you're just letting it relax. So just give your scalp a break and it's definitely gonna stop frizz or even stop your hair from breaking and there's just plenty of things that your hair definitely needs in terms of just generating its own moisture, its own sebum, its own whatever our hair does. And trust me guys, it's going to be a game changer. Because remember, it's not usually your hair, but it's what your hair is absorbing. And there are ways to get the hair that you want if you only do your own due diligence and look into what you're putting into it. Am I right? So please let me know if you guys want me to make a part two and if you want me to add more information and also what hair types you would like to see in the next video, let me know down below so I could do that. And also guys, let me know what your hair type is and what your current hairstyle is because I just wanna see what you guys are rocking. I wanna see what you guys are doing. Please don't forget to subscribe and also hit that like button and hit that like button, leave a comment. It really helps me get back into the algorithm hopefully someday. But if not, follow me on Instagram if you guys wanna see more of my fashion style, fashion related content. I do have a lot of car stuff now on my Instagram and also I do have a lot of fashion now on my Instagram and I do have some travel and uh, really cool interior design stuff. So let me know. So if I see you guys on Instagram, please let me know you come from my YouTube channel and also I will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to put style on everything, guys. See you guys soon. Peace out.